Mmm. Wow. Okay. Only one thing, look out with this salt, because it's natural from here, from Aveiro. It's very strong. Use with moderation, do not salt is a food. Right? And then let's see what the third one is. It's like Christmas. Mmm. Super tasty. Mmm. I love this. Welcome to Destination Eat Drink, the travel channel for foodies. I'm Brent Peterson. I'm an American living in Portugal, and today we are in Aveiro, Portugal. This is a city about an hour south of Porto, and we just got here. Just got off the bus and uh, walked through the train station to the old train station. There's a brand new sleek train station right next to this old train station, but this one was built in the uh, 19th century, and I wanted to see it because it's known for these beautiful blue and white tile murals, the so-called Azulejo tiles. And you may have heard of the Azulejo tiles in Porto at the train station there, the Sao Bento station. We did a video on that. And those tiles are world famous and they're gorgeous. You should see them. But most of these old train stations in Portugal have these beautiful murals. And this is another fantastic example. These are absolutely gorgeous. They show local landmarks like the uh, lighthouse that hopefully we're going to go visit during our trip here. And also they show everyday rural life from like the 19th century depicting uh, that, that type of stuff. So it's really interesting and they're very, very beautiful. It's a place that you should go. And then right across the street, it looks like there's a little bakery that sells the local pastry called Ovos Morlish. And we're definitely gonna be eating those while we're here in Aveiro. This is Tricana de Aveiro, and this is literally across the street from the old train station. Saw the sign Ovos Morlish, had to come in and try our first one. So, um, what is this Ovos Morlish, Morlish I keep talking about? Well, it's this, and it's the characteristic pastry of the city of Aveiro. And you can see it's got this little pastry shell and then supposedly on the inside it's filled with an egg custard. So let's give it a try. Mm. Okay, so that outside is really, really skinny and that custard on the inside, I expected it to be more, I mean, it's soft, but I expected it to be more custardy and gooey and stuff like a pastel de nata, because I've had other pastries that are filled with this egg custard. This isn't. Um, I don't know, I'm, I'm struggling for the word. I, I, I want to say it's a little more gummy, but that sounds like a negative. Um, but that's the best that I can come up with right now on the spot. This is the uh, pastel de casa. It just means the pastry of the house. And when I see that, I got to buy it, even though, you know, I, I, that's not what I came for. So we'll give this a try. You can see this is a little crispy pastry. It's been folded over. Hmm. Hmm. Wow. Okay. So, just by putting that little powdered sugar on the top and having a more crispy crust, I like this like a hundred times better. We'll see. We're going to try several Ovoch Molish um, today and the days that we're here. But, so far, um, this is the winner. We've got an Abadanadu too. Good start, Avero. So Avero is known for its canals. In fact, they call it the Venice of Portugal, a name I don't particularly care for. I don't really like it when they compare one city to another, but that's the name. Um, and so what everyone does is they come and they take these boat tours on this canal, on these typical boats that were used back in the day, uh, these style of boats to bring both salt and seaweed 
into the city. Salt, obviously so important to the preservation of food as well as the flavoring of food. And the uh, seaweed, which was used to, um, as fertilizer in uh, you know, gardens and farms and whatnot. So um, these boats are traditional. This, these are traditional shapes and traditional paintings. And when you come here to Avero, you have to go out on one of these boats. So that's exactly what we're gonna do. We're gonna ride out there on this canal. I know it's a touristy thing, but it's something that has to be done when you come to Avero. So we're gonna give it a try. Is that with blue windows? It's colonial style. We have a lot of these houses in the old colonies of Portugal. For example, Brazil, Angola, and Mozambique is the biggest. Nice, lucky man. <laughs> Not only oh the Nava, very good. I gotta say, this is a pretty incredible tour. We've really enjoyed it. Our guide, Pedro, is hilarious and informative. And we even got a ribbon for the uh, Bridge of Love and the Bridge of Friendship. So um, we'll be putting this on the bridge. <laughs> So I just stopped at M1882. Uh, our tour guide, Rosanna, hipped us to this place and suggested that we come try it for their Ovo Schmolish. So um, we're gonna do that in a moment. But what I wanted to point out to you is, the reason why I wanted to eat out here is to show you the sidewalks here in Aveiro. Now, in, all over Portugal, they have these little tiles that um, line the sidewalks and you'll see them everywhere in Liz, any town, any city. But the interesting thing is they have patterns to them and they're not all the same. Depending on what city you're in, it will have something to do with the culture or the history of that city. And so in our city of Setubal, they're generally wave-shaped to represent the uh, Sado River and the ocean. Here, they also have water themes. You see them uh, have nautical knots, anchor, and right here is one that's a, uh, one of the traditional boats here in Aveiro. So when you're walking around, look down, notice the patterns, because they're really interesting and quite beautiful. Also watch your step uh, for two reasons, the dog crap, and uh, when it rains, these get very slippery. All right, so let's get into this. I got a couple different ones, different shapes actually. And so, okay. This one is shaped like a shell. Um, and you can see they have different shapes that also have to do with the culture of Aveiro. This one is shaped like a fish. And then let's see what the third one is. It's like Christmas. Okay, and so this one is shaped like an eel. This is a famous dish that they eat here in Aveiro, the eel. Um, we're not going to be eating any eels <laughs> while we're here, but um, let's give this a try. Mm. Okay. So this is a really good example. Um, sweet egg custard on the inside but the shell is more crispy and it has some uh, powdered sugar on it. Mm. All right. This is one of the best ones that we've had so far. Really good, M1882. Next to it is another one that's better known and older, but um, Word has it that they were bought out by a uh, multinational and the quality has gone downhill and they're also a lot more expensive. But thanks to Rosanna for pointing out M1882 because these are really good. This is a Musco. This is a vegan restaurant here in Aveiro. I thought after all those uh, uh, ovos molos that we've had today, maybe have some healthy food for dinner. Um, this place is down a little alleyway and it's just so cute because right next to me um, are some really nice Azuleu uh, murals because there's a tile shop at the end of this alley. Anyway, um, what did we get? 
Well, like we always do in Portugal, we start out with some olives, and I love olives with the uh, fresh chopped garlic on it. But for, even for me, this might be a lot of garlic. It's good, but really, really garlicky. Um, and then a little soup. We're not too far from Porto. We're not too far from Minho. So this soup kind of reminds me of Caldo Verde, which is a famous soup from that region. Chopped greens on the top. That's tasty. That's really tasty. Potato, onion, garlic again, I think, and these greens. Mm. Really good. And then our last appetizer. Oh, and a little white wine. Okay. And then mushrooms with a little regional bread. Hmm. Parsley. Lots of olive oil. Mm. Really earthy and delicious. That is really good. I like it. All right. Now we just need for our main course to show up. Okay, main course is here. This is the plate of the day. Thought I'd give this a try. Um, the salad looks really good. I mean, it's very fresh looking. Mm. This is watercress. Mm. Mm. Yeah, man. Mm. So fresh. Simply dressed. Really nice. Um, little rice here with peas. Edible flour on top. Nice touch. And then um, this is little uh, seitan meatballs. Seitan is a wheat gluten, basically. And it's uh, easy to use, like tofu as a meat substitute. Rolled these into meatballs. Got them bathed in some uh, tomato sauce. Mm. Little onion in there. And they're nice and crispy on the outside. That's the thing, sometimes seitan can be a little mushy. This is not, this is nice and crispy. Oh, they did a good job on this. This is really good. And mm, with this rice, I think it'll be really nice. Good job, Lusco. This is really good. Hmm. This is the Aveiro Cemetery, and I know that cemeteries are not tourist attractions, but cemeteries in Portugal are very interesting because they're often lined with mausoleums that can be extremely ornate and um, interesting to look at. Um, this one is particularly interesting in Aveiro because they're still building these mausoleums and a lot of them in a modern uh, uh, style. Like this one is all granite and very sleek and modern looking. There's also some classic ones that are in, you know, like Baroque and neoclassical style and some of them in better shape than others. Uh, that's the thing I've seen in Portugal. Some of these mausoleums have really been allowed to uh, deteriorate. Broken glass, um, occasionally, disturbingly, uh, caskets uh, falling on the ground and open. But um, that's just the way it is from my experience of going in here. But this is a uh, interesting place to walk around and, uh, you know, have a little bit of quiet time when you're in Aveiro. This is A Barica, and this will be our last stop for Ovos Molesh. Um, you can see A Barica means the barrel, 
and I told you that uh, the Ovosh Molish comes in different shapes to celebrate the nautical heritage of Avero. And this one is shaped like a barrel. I don't know what that has to do with uh, uh, sailing or anything or ships. Maybe it's, I don't know, a mooring or something. But anyway, this is the most popular shape because it's the biggest one. So you get the most filling inside. Let's give this a try. Mmm. Wow. Definitely the creamiest of all the custards. Mmm. Super tasty. Mmm. I love this inside. I'm glad our buddy Pedro uh, recommended this for us. This is really good and a great way to finish off our Ovish Molish crawl here in Avero. This is the site of the old Monastery of Jesus in Avero, and uh, it's pretty loud here today. There's a bunch of kids groups who are going on a field trip. The monastery is now a museum, so a lot of kids coming here to learn about uh, the history of Avero, and probably a lot about uh, St. Joanna, who was a princess born into the royal family, but wanted to become a nun. <laughs> These kids are really loud. Who wanted to become a nun, so she went into the monastery rather than being married off like her father wanted her to, to uh, consolidate his power. So anyway, um, she's a revered saint here in Avero, and I think even the city day is uh, dedicated to her. Anyway, that's not why we're here. This is the spot where Ovosh Molish were invented 500 years ago. So I thought this would be a good place for us to finish up our video because we've had some excellent Ovosh Molish here and I thought maybe we come to the spot where it was invented to pay tribute to the nuns who were the first to make Ovosh Molish. In front, this yellow building is the old capital of Ove, where we just all the books before. Now is the art gallery and municipal assembly. 